that, uh, that's kind of a joke. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, my, my, my dad grew up poor. He, he never graduated from college. And yet he understood the American dream. He knew that in this country, you would not be limited by the circumstance of your birth. He knew that if you had dreams and if you worked hard and you had a little, a little good luck, you can achieve great things. And by the way, in this country, when people do achieve success, we celebrate it, we don't denigrate it. And if you're one of the ones, if you're one of the ones that starts a little business and it gets larger and is successful and you're able to hire other people, we say thank you to you because we know you built it. I love America. It is an exceptional land. People have wanted to come here from all over the world for centuries. The people who came here, the dreamers, are what make America what it is. Our government's role is not to take from some to give to others. Our government's role is to protect freedom, to allow dreamers to build their future, and to lift our entire nation as they do. And so this is a choice of what kind of an America we're going to have. Whether the American dream is alive and well, or whether instead it's slowly smothered by a government that becomes more and more intrusive and takes more and more away from our free people. I will protect this country's freedom. We will protect the American dream for ourselves and for our children. We have behind us a number of men who've served our cause of freedom. Forces. I salute the people who recognize how important it is for America to remain strong, strong in our military, so strong no one would ever think of testing America. We need a strong military. I will not cut our military. We need a strong American military. For that to be the case, we must also have a strong economy. We have to have an economy that can keep up with a strong military and to support it. And to have a strong economy, we also have to have values that build a strong America. When the founders of this nation, when they put this nation together and they wrote the Declaration of Independence, they were brilliant and I believe also inspired because they said that our rights, they didn't come from government, they came from God himself. And among those rights were life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Yeah, we're free in this country to pursue happiness as we choose. It is what made us who we are. This great passion for freedom, for opportunity, for building for ourselves. I was with Marco Rubio the other day. I'll bet you've heard him say this to you. He, uh, he said that when he came here and he lived, uh, he lived pretty humbly and pretty poor circumstances. He saw some big homes that were around the Miami area and he said, you know what, I never heard my parents say, why won't those people give us what, what they have? Yeah. Yeah. He said instead what I heard was, aren't we lucky to live in a country where if we work hard and get an education and take some risks, we might be able to get that ourselves. I am absolutely convinced that because of that American spirit, that passion for freedom, and for pursuing happiness as we choose, not as government directs, that this economy is going to come roaring back. If we do those five things that I described, we'll create 12 million more jobs, we'll get rising take-home pay again, we'll finally get our schools right, and we'll be able to afford a military the world looks at and respects and reveres.